Well, good afternoon and welcome to the 2017 Hypertension Scientific Sessions meeting. Uh, with me today is Dr. Greg Fink, who's the Professor of Pharmacology at Michigan State University. Uh, Greg, uh, congratulations. Uh, he's receiving the Irving Page Lifetime Achievement Award from the Council. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you've done over the years in terms of research and and administrative uh, assistance to the council. Well, thanks, John. I want to thank you, and I, I really want to thank the council for uh, choosing me for this a very prestigious award. And I looked at the list of the previous winners, and it's quite humbling to uh, consider oneself in the same category as some of the people that have won before. And a brief history, um, I've been doing research in hypertension for 42 years now, I realized, mm -hmm. when I started thinking about this. Uh, and I got into the field of hypertension as a postdoctoral fellow when I went to the laboratory of Michael Brody at the University of Iowa. And, and that had a very, very strong mm -hmm. effect, obviously, on my uh, interest in hypertension and also in the areas in hypertension that I wanted to do research in. And uh, unlike many people, I've stuck fairly closely to the same questions that I was addressing uh, in Dr. Brody's lab in the 1970s mm -hmm. uh, as I am now. I've been extremely interested, as you know, Joey, in the renin angiotensin system, uh, in the brain and the nervous system, especially the sympathetic nervous system and its involvement in hypertension. And I would say, 80% of the 170, 180 papers I've published over those 42 years have, in one way or another, dealt with those topics. Mm -hmm. And of course, in recent times, with the interest in, in, in translational uh, research, we've tried to uh, develop models, experimental models, and experimental questions that relate more directly to uh, uh, human hypertension. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I was... Uh, um, in, in, in fairly recent fairly recent times, we've gotten interested in, in sort of the, back interested in an old topic, which is the hemodynamics of hypertension, and particularly we're interested in the uh, role of the, the veins and the venous system in hypertension. Not very many people work in this area, but it's one that we found uh, very fruitful. And so over the last several years, we've published a number of papers that have really uh, focused on that topic. Um, you know, when you look back, as we all do at some stage, mm -hmm. when you look back at, at what you've achieved in your career, it's, it, it never quite seems, to, in my opinion anyway, to measure up perhaps to what other people have done. Perhaps you see your own flaws and your own uh, uh, deficiencies more clearly than others. But um, all I know is that uh, when I, I got the notification, I was actually on vacation when I got the notification mm -hmm. of this award, I was really uh, surprised, <laughs> shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, very, 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 very honored. Um, this award in particular uh, it has some meaning for me because at the very first talk I gave at this council meeting back in 1977, uh, Dr. Irvin Page himself was sitting in the front row of my talk. And I was extremely nervous. If you remember at that time, uh, you had to be invited to come to this meeting. And my mentor, Dr. Brody, was invited. He could invite one postdoc and all the postdocs fought for an opportunity to come to this meeting. And that year, I happened to win out, I don't know how, um, and I gave a talk on some of my work with Dr. Brody at this meeting, and Dr. Page was sitting there in the front row, as he often did, and he was in his, I think, probably in his 70s at that time. Um, after my talk was over, he didn't really say anything. Uh, he didn't ask me any questions, and, you know, so other people did, and the meeting ended, and I left the hotel, the Stouffer Hotel, where the meeting used to be at that time. Maybe that was before your time, Joey. Um, and I'm standing on the curb uh, waiting for some friends, and Dr. Page walked right up beside me. And I was a young postdoc. I'm very nervous. Here's the founding father of hypertension research. Um, standing right next to me, and I was about ready to turn to him and introduce myself um, because this was such a famous guy in the hypertension field. And instead, he turned to me and he said, So, Dr. Fink, I enjoyed your talk, but I have a couple questions for you. <laughs> and so there, standing on the curb in front of the Stouffer Hotel, um, I asked, answered uh, Dr. Page's uh, questions, uh, very astute questions. He'd obviously paid very careful attention to my talk. I couldn't believe, I was so honored that he had actually paid attention. I couldn't wait to get back and tell Dr. Brody, you know, that I, Dr. Page had heard my talk and he was asking me questions. So that's a little special uh, uh, memory for me that makes this particular award, since uh, Dr. P it's named after Dr. Page, uh, particularly special 
to me. And interestingly enough, Alva Bradley, now he, he passed away before I was even mm -hmm. born, but uh, I have a little connection with him too, and that uh, probably most of the people who know me well know that one of my passions in life is baseball, playing mm -hmm. baseball, watching baseball. Well, Alva Bradley was the owner of the Cleveland Indians, mm -hmm. a very successful owner. He hired Bob Feller, one of the most famous pitchers ever in the history of baseball. So I feel a little connected to both Irvin Page and Alva Bradley, uh, and, and so it, it means a little bit extra to me to, to be the winner of this award. Well, that's a very special story, and as you know, uh, Greg, uh, the council provides great opportunities for our trainees to meet the leading scientists in the world, and uh, the story about uh, Irving Page is a, a very special one. Uh, so in addition to winning the Irv, Irving Page uh, Bradley Award, you're also receiving the uh, American Heart Association Distinguished uh, uh, Achievement Award, and uh, a lot of that is focused on uh, service to the American Heart Association and the council, and uh, I've served with you on various committees, and uh, you have outstanding leadership skills, and you've been an important leader for both the council and the American Heart Association. So tell me about uh, uh, your story related to <laughs> service. Well, I, I, again, I, I received notification of this second award several weeks after the first, and I, of course, at first thought it was just a, a repeat. Accidentally, I got a, no, a new notification, but I looked carefully, and it was a, a separate award, and of course, I know about the Distinguished Achievement Award, and I have to admit, again, I was very, very excited. I ran and told my wife, you're not going to believe this. I not only won an award, I won two awards. Um, you know, and this one I, f I feel very, very good about because I have since going to Michigan State where I have still I still continue to work in 1977 I've worked for the Heart Association almost that entire time I started out working for the Michigan Heart Association mm -hmm. a local heart group uh, reviewing grants and uh, doing programs and eventually was asked to serve on um, uh, national committees and uh, I didn't work a lot for the council right away uh, mm -hmm. but eventually as, as you continue to attend the council and become better known um, you get asked to do these things and I, I felt I felt um, a certain uh, um, loyal, I, well I felt a lot of loyal to the American Heart Association. My very first grant came from mm -hmm. the American Heart Association. Um, so I was happy to, to work on the council and work on various committees um, and serve in various ways. Um, I have to admit again that when, when uh, I forget exactly who it was now, but suggested that I might uh, you know, run for the chair of the council, I thought, well, I don't know if I'm really ready for that. Um, uh, but it really proved to be a fantastic experience, and I, I, I'm, I'm really proud of what we did collectively, you and I and Chris and Rian and Clinton Webb, people who are council leaders over the last decade or so. I think we've made some really, really important changes in the council, and of course, effectively running council is one thing, but what I think it means in, in a more broad way is that the goals of the council are more likely to be met, and those goals are to help people with hypertension, help uh, discover uh, uh, new ways of treating hypertension, of diagnosing hypertension. And I think the things that we've done for the council together, you and I and, and the others I mentioned, have really helped uh, and are going to continue to help achieve that end. That, that's what's really important to me, uh, the, the, you know, the responsibilities and the, uh, the feeling of accomplishment of, of, of helping run an organization like the council is great, but ultimately it's about uh, you know, helping the people that uh, the council exists to help, and those are folks with hypertension. So I, I, I felt very, very um, good about th this award because I think it's something that I, I think I, we really did make an impact beyond the science. I think we, our, own, our own personal science, I think we made a real impact. And one of those um, uh, um, changes, I think, that, that, that perhaps some people think was just a, a window dressing, but I think is actually quite important, is the change in the name of the council. Mm -hmm. You know, when Dr. Page started this organization, it was the uh, National Foundation for High Blood Pressure Research. Um, and then in 1949, it became the Council for High Blood Pressure mm -hmm. Research, the Heart Association. And during my tenure as chair and your tenure as program chair, we, we collectively decided to change the name to Council on Hypertension. And I think that's actually going to have an impact. It's going to mm -hmm. raise the awareness of hypertension with the Heart Association and with the public. So I'm really quite proud of that. Well, you should be, uh, Greg. And, uh, and thank you for your service to the Council and your leadership and uh, playing an instrumental role in achieving our strategic uh, mission. Thank and, you, And uh, thank you for, uh, not thank you, but congratulations on receiving two awards, and both of them are well-deserved. Thank you very much, Joy. Mm -hmm.